Hey everyone, this is Dwayne Roberts here and I am with Real Estate Lead Academy and it is my pleasure today to introduce to you one of our students, Jason. Jason, how are you doing today? Uh, super fantastic. Thank you for asking. Yeah, awesome. Hey, so the reason I wanted to bring you on this call is yesterday we did a training call and you had mentioned that you had recently started your What's My Home Worth campaign, which is our flagship campaign to get listings. Share with the audience um, how long ago you started that campaign, what your budget has been so far, in other words, what you've spent and how many leads you've been able to generate. Okay, so with the What's My Home's Worth campaign, we started that on Friday. Uh, today is now Wednesday. And in that campaign, we budgeted for roughly $5 a day. We started it Friday evening. We had uh, four leads, I wanna say, four leads that came through for What's My Home Worth. And of those four, there were actually three that were real viable leads with phone numbers, addresses, and stuff like that. So now we're actually working on getting in touch and actually making the next step to actually going into their home. So um, our, like I said, our budget was about $5 a day. Facebook's averaging about three fifty on average based on the click-throughs. That's amazing. So let me ask you a question. What has your previous experience been with other type of lead generation services? Would you, would you uh, agree that the safe assumption that less than $4 a lead is probably lower than what you have been getting? Yeah, I would say it is it is averaging less than $4 a lead. Um, it's probably, yeah, I want to say about two fifty maybe or less, depending on what the campaign is that we're doing. That's awesome. Now, have you tried any lead generation in the past, like Realtor.com or Zillow or Truly or Conversions, any of those type of companies? Yeah, we have. I've done Zillow, and which I don't do much of anything with Zillow anymore, just because the cost it's it's insane. You're you know, it's, I think that one came out to about one hundred and sixty eight dollars a lead or more, wow. depending on what it was. And then uh, I do stuff with Realtor.com, um, and I. That one, I haven't ran the numbers recently, so I couldn't tell you exactly what that one's costing me. But I don't do a whole lot. I think I only budget $100 a month with them. So um, that one doesn't cost me much of anything. Yeah, we used to actually use Realtor.com almost exclusively. At one point, they had a program where the leads were, you know, apparently exclusive. I say apparently because I still think they sold them to the other agents. Mm -hmm. But even then, the calls per lead was running between $25 and $35 a pop. So okay. We were budgeting fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month on Realtor.com. Wow! And we decided to build the system. We're like, hey, we can you know, probably cut that in half or even more by generating our own leads. But one, you know, one of the main reasons, and I appreciate you sharing that story with me about getting your campaign going, because you know, once you launch it, it works. But I, I logged into your contact management system yesterday, basically looked at those four leads to see how they were going, and then I noticed you had like a pleather of like almost like total like 96 leads in the system and I just kind of had this aha moment and then I realized that you were running a different type of campaign. Mm -hmm. so can you tell us about what you were doing to get all those other leads? Yeah, so the the biggest one like you're talking about, that's the open house leads. So we, we run the campaigns whenever I'm going to have an open mm -hmm. house. Back noise here from my phone. But um, if we run other campaigns, so if we have an open house, we'll put a we'll we'll actually go through the process of putting the links up and everything else for the open house campaign. So we'll capture our leads that way. Um, we we put that on Facebook. We boost it. We push it every which way, um, and then we take those leads. Once we have an open house, we'll we'll put them on a drip campaign try to follow up with them. And then the same thing is if we have a second open house at that house, we'll make sure to reinvite them to that open house or possibly send them to other similar listings. Awesome, so that was amazing testimonial because the open house campaign is a campaign that is um, near and dear to my heart. But I can tell you right now, it is a very underutilized campaign. A lot mm -hmm. of agents see it in there and they don't focus in on it. I mean, I've got so much business throughout the years doing open houses. And, you know, if you're an agent and you're watching this testimonial, you're thinking, well, I don't have any listings right now. Trust me when I say this. Go to someone in your office and say, hey, I would like to do an open house at your listing this weekend. And I just want to get the buyers off of it. I promise you, you're going to be the hero because they look like a superstar to their listing. And they don't really want to do it. 